compact yet powerful, slim but not an ultrabook. What is it? The Dell Precision 5480 is a workstation that easily fits into a backpack. But can it replace a full flag desktop? Let's find out! At the first glance, the Precision 5480 looks like just a stylish ultrabook. Externally, it closely resembles Dell's more budget-friendly laptop lines. But don't be fooled, this is a workstation in a compact chassis. It weighs only 1.5 kilograms and has a thickness of about 17 millimeters. The body is made of aluminum and magnesium alloy, giving a premium and sturdy feel. The lid doesn't flex, opens easily and the the build quality is solid, with no creaks or loose parts. Dell has equipped the Precision 5480 with a pretty good screen. It features a 14-inch panel with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio and resolution of either 1920 by 1200 or 3840 by 2400, depending on the configuration. The top-tier 4K version offers 100% sRGB and Adobe RGB coverage. Viewing angles are great and brightness goes up to 500 nits. My version comes with a 1920 by 1200 resolution display. It's a standard made screen that is comfortable to work on, also reaching 500 nits of brightness and covering 100% of sRGB. While it's not an impressive as 4K display, it consumes fewer resources and extends battery life when unplugged. There is also a touchscreen version available, but I haven't had a chance to test it yet. This laptop isn't just for office tasks. It's powered by Intel Core i7-13700H with 14 cores and 20 threads, offering high clock speed. It handles multitasking, coding, photo editing and even 3D modeling quite efficiently. What makes the Precision 5480 a decent workstation is NVIDIA RTX A1000 graphics card with 6GB of VRAM. While it's not the newest GPU, released in 2022, it's well suited for graphics work, 3D modeling and rendering. Compared to the RTX 3060 also from 2020, the A1000 underperforms in gaming but offers better stability in professional applications. If you need a GPU for work rather than gaming, the A1000, though slightly outdated, is a still solid choice with a good energy efficiency and reliability. With such powerful processor and GPU, what about cooling? Dell uses a vapor chamber and two fans. In idle mode, the laptop is nearly silent. Under the load, the fans are audible but not too loud. Temperatures remain within normal limits and I haven't noticed any major overheating issues. Considering its compact size, the Precision 5480 offers a decent selection of ports. Two Thunderbolt 4, one USB-A, HDMI 2.1, audio jack, SD card slot, it also supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. Connectivity is stable and I haven't experienced any dropouts with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth devices. The 72 watt battery is rated for up to 10 hours by Dell. In reality, it lasts around 6 to 7 hours in mixed use and 3 to 4 hours under heavy load. However, it supports fast charging reaching 50% in just 30 minutes, which is quite convenient. The keyboard is typical for Dell, comfortable with soft key travel and good tactile feedback. It has backlighting, the trackpad is large, glass-coated and responsive. Nothing groundbreaking, but they are both solid and reliable. The speakers are loud and clear, but not outstanding. They are just good, nothing more, nothing less. So who is this laptop for? If you work with 3D graphics, CAD software, design or programming, the Precision 5480 offers desktop level performance in a compact form factor. It's not meant for gaming and while its hardware isn't cutting edge, it's still far from outdated. This laptop will remain relevant for several years and continue handling demanding tasks. On the used market, it can be found at reasonable price. If you need a reliable workstation, the Dell Precision 5480 is a great choice. Based on my personal research, I already find several of those units for right under $500, which I think pretty good deal. So 
As always, let's take this baby apart to see what we can repair, upgrade, so stay tuned, let's go! Let's begin by turning the laptop over and using a T5 screw bit to carefully remove the 8 screws securing the bottom case. Before disassembling the laptop, always double check that it's completely powered off. To detach the bottom case, I will be using a plastic pry tool which is highly recommended for metal body laptops as it helps prevent scratches. The bottom case came off relatively easy. I prefer to use my fingers and nails whenever it's possible as this allows me to better gauge the amount of force needed. With the bottom case removed, we now have a clear view of the internal components. The battery is connected via a simple snap-on connector, which can be detached by carefully pulling it out. The battery itself is secured with the four screws, making replacement straightforward. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi module and the RAM are soldered directly onto the motherboard, meaning they cannot be replaced or upgraded. However, the good news is that SSD can be easily replaced or upgraded by removing a single screw. All external ports are also soldered onto the motherboard, so if any of them fail, replacing them can be costly. The laptop features a robust cooling system with the two fans. If you need to replace a heatsink, be sure to reapply thermal paste and thermal pads to maintain optimal performance. That is all for today, wishing everyone love and peace.